So, a couple days ago, I was streaming Injustice 2. And a few people in chat asked me when Injustice 3 was coming out. And obviously, I don't know the answer to that. Then they followed up if it was announced yet. And the answer was obviously no. And then they followed up again with, well, when is it going to be announced? And to be honest, I had no clue. However, I decided to go back and look at the release schedule of all of the NetherRealm games. And I guess try to form some rough, like average of when their release schedule was and i actually got quite a bit of data on it so talking about speculation of when things are going to happen is one of my favorite things to talk about when it comes to fighting games so i decided to like screw it let's make a video about the release schedule of all the nether realm games so first off we're going to talk about the game that everyone refers to as mortal kombat 9 or just mortal kombat the first nether realm studios game and that was announced on october 11th 2010 there was a six month wait until it was released in april 19th of 2011. then mortal kombat 9 started its dlc around june 7th that starting with scarlet kenshi rain kratos and freddy krueger finishing up on august 9th roughly about two months for all dlc characters to get released mortal kombat 9's complete edition dropped on february 28th 2012 which was about seven to nine months from the initial release. Three months after the complete edition of Mortal Kombat 9 was released, we had the first announcement of Injustice 1 on May 31st, 2012. Ten months later, we finally got it released on April 16th, 2013. About a month later, we had our first DLC character on May 7th, 2013, and we had Lobo, Batgirl, Scorpion, General Zod, Martian Manhunter, and Zatanna, which finished up on August 13th. Roughly around three months for all characters to be released. Injustice 1's Complete Edition came out on November 12th, 2013, roughly around six months from its initial release. So, from the data so far, we did find out that it took about three months of a wait period before we got an announcement for Injustice 1. So, clearly, Injustice 1 was already being worked on while NetherRealms was working on Mortal Kombat 9's DLC. Now, there isn't much to go off of. Three months is all we got. However, we go by release, it's 13 months. But, once again, this gives us a rough estimation for a future game. Mortal Kombat X was announced on June 2nd, 2014 which was seven months since the complete edition was finished for Injustice 1. So it's a little bit longer than the first one. Mortal Kombat X was finally released on April 14th, 2015, which was about nine months after it was announced. The DLC started about a month later with Jason Voorhees, Predator, Tremor, Tanya, Bo Raicho, Triborg, and Leatherface, and the Xenomorph Alien, finishing up on March 1st, 2016, which is about a 10-month period for all of them to be released. Also on March 1st, 2016, was the release of Mortal Kombat XL, the complete edition, which took about 10 to 11 months to finally come out. So from this point, there was a little bit more of a break in between how long it took for Mortal Kombat X to be announced compared to Injustice one there was a roughly around a seven month period about four months more than it was for mk9 there definitely was a longer wait period for mkx than there was for injustice one which means multitude of things that i don't understand but that's the data for you injustice 2 was announced on june 8th 2016 three months after the mkxl complete edition was announced injustice 2 finally was released on may 16th 2017 literally 11 months now there was a lot of issues and controversy i know there was something about like a voice actor strike during this time there wasn't really uh an answer why this was so late but we did eventually get it dlc started a month after release with dark side being a pre-order bonus starfire red hood sub-zero black manta hellboy raiden enchantress the atom and the teenage mutant ninja turtles finishing it up on february 13th 2018 which took roughly around eight months for all of them to be released about a month and a half later we got injustice 2 complete edition announced on march 27th 2018 so now that we got that information out of the way this looks very similar back to mortal kombat 9 
where it was announced, and then Injustice 3 was announced three months after the complete edition, very similar to MKX. If we follow suit with that, there is a rough estimation, which I will get to at the end of this video. Let's go to Mortal Kombat 11. So Mortal Kombat 11 was announced on December 2018 at the Game Awards, which I was watching. It was actually pretty cool how they announced it. Family-friendly game. It was entertaining. With a nine-month window since Injustice 2, which, once again, we'll touch on that in a bit. The game was finally released four months later on April 23rd, 2019. DLC started two months later, with Shao Kahn being a pre-order bonus with Shang Tsung, Sindel, Nightwolf, Spawn, Joker... T-800, Terminator, Fujin, Robocop, Shiva, and finally, Rain, Molina, and Rambo finishing up on November 11th, which took quite a while to release, going on like a year and five months. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, the complete edition, will drop six days later on November 17th, 2020. Mortal Kombat 11 definitely has been the longest of all of the NetherRealm games to come out, especially with DLC. It just it felt like we waited for years. <laughs> but... Uh, let's get to the part that you guys are waiting for. So there's definitely a trend going on. I I don't know for sure exactly how it works, but I feel that Mortal Kombat 9 and Injustice 1 were being worked on at the same time. And I feel MKX was being worked on at the same time as Injustice 2. And if I am correct, I'm assuming MK11 was and is still being worked on at the same time as Injustice 3. If you were paying attention, Mortal Kombat 9's Complete Edition was announced on February 28th and three months later... Injustice 1 was announced on May 31st, 2012. Three months. If you look back at Mortal Kombat X that was released on March 1st, 2016, Injustice 2 was announced on June 8th, 2016. Another three months. Now, when we get to Mortal Kombat 11, everything gets kind of screwy. Mortal Kombat 11 is a little bit different because it's lasted longer than any other games going on almost pl two plus years, right? So look at the other side. Mortal Kombat seems like it takes longer to be announced from Injustice, which definitely was a trend with Mortal Kombat 11, which was announced nine months after Injustice 2. Mortal Kombat X was announced seven months, so it's a little over half of a year. So my guesstimate here. So if we are getting the final DLC... In complete edition on November 17th, you can go three months ahead. My best guess is we are going to get an Injustice 3 announcement sometime in February. That is my best guess or estimation. As of right now, I can't think of a single thing that's in February that would be interesting to announce at. Now, I could be wrong. And I honestly, I hope I am. I really hope that at the Game Awards this year, Ed Boon shows up and makes an announcement for Injustice 3. That would be amazing. And th but that's only a month away from Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. So I don't know. I know there's. I just threw a lot of information and data at you. Now, I don't know for sure if this is the exact schedule. And, of course, this is just me guessing and just looking up random dates on Google, right? So I don't know. But take this information for what you think. Let me know in the comments below what you guys truly think it's going to be. Am I wrong? Am I right? Do you think I'm close? Do you think this is good information or this is worthless information? I'm very curious what you guys have to say. All of my info are in the links below. If you like the video today, guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I am Phil, and of course, I'll talk to you guys soon.